man, how do I get into Amex? Yeah. Right. So what I did was Amex has a, a business checking account. They'll send you this card. If you have a business and you go straight for the Amex business, Amex, mm. that is going to pull an inquiry. And then when you want to go for the personal Amex platinum, that is going to pull another inquiry. How do you avoid that? You what banks that are premium that I could try to build a relationship with, but my credit is bad. And you mentioned the other day uh, that you, people are essentially able to build a relationship or essentially able to get with American Express with having bad credit. Can you talk about that? Yes, yes, yes. So I like to uh, show receipts. So Calvin, right. I don't want to just say it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Check this out, guys. So check. <laughs> um, there you go. So American Express. Yeah. Right. Debit card. Yeah. Business debit card. So okay. I'll tell you a quick story. So everyone looks at American Express like the big dog of all big dogs. Mm -hmm. If you got yeah. American Express, you either established or you got good credit or you, you, you're you a little wealthy. If some people attach American Express to wealth. Well, back mm -hmm. then I had bad credit. I had no idea about American Express, how to get in. I just right. thought it was something for affluent Caucasian people. That's really <laughs> right. what I thought. I didn't right, right. Know how to get an Amex. And what I did was I did my research is like, man, how do I get into Amex? Yeah. Right. So what I did was Amex has a, a business checking account. Mm. All you have to do is put your EIN number. Yeah. Right. To apply. You open up yeah. that uh, business checking account. They'll send you this card. Mm. Right. And uh, they'll send you this card. And then also while you build that, also do a, a savings account. A high yield mm. savings account it gives you about four point five percent per year, but mm. now, right? You you have bad credit. Let's say, yeah. But you're adding this this to your profile. That's right. These accounts. When it's time to apply, right? It's easier to get the big boy cards. Mm. And, and and I want to add one more thing is if you have a business and you go straight for the Amex business Amex, mm. that is going to pull an inquiry. And mm. then when you want to go for the personal Amex. Platinum, that is going to pull another inquiry. How yeah. do you avoid that? You go personal first, yeah. get that inquiry, and then go yeah. business. No more inquiry. You know what? Can okay. you say that one more time? I think it went out just a little bit. Say that one more time about the inquiry piece. Okay. About the inquiry. So when yeah. you get into Amex, once you get your first Amex card, yeah, right, they're not supposed to give you inquiries no more. Gotcha. They're yeah. not supposed to give you inquiries. However, most people, good credit, they want, hey, I want the Amex business card because yeah. I want it. Yeah. They'll go straight for the Amex business card, which will pull an inquiry. And then when they want the personal, that'll pull an inquiry. Gotcha. Okay, so how do you okay. avoid that? Go personal first, and then no more inquiries. Don't go business, and then back to personal, because that's yeah. going to cause you to increase. Hope you guys caught that. Hope you guys, man, listen. See, what, what I love about Econ Bulldog, Bulldog is that he's not just giving you guys tips. These are things that he's literally, <laughs> he's done himself. You guys saw the debit card, okay? You know, and so now, of course, he's, uh, you know, giving you guys that same information. This is, this shortens your learning curve if you all take advantage of the information, okay? So One of the reasons yeah, why I got this card, because I wanted to go out to dinner with my wife, and I just wanted to show American Express. I mean, right. I'm, I'm, it's the flex. I'm going to be real with that. I'm be real with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. That is what's up, man. All right. And then let's go into uh, the next piece here. There was, I think, you know, there was there was one thing that you had mentioned about a credit. That's what it was. A yes. credit union. All right. So, uh, guys, this is one of the top three credit unions. Top three credit unions. Okay. And now, well, listen, you're about to hear something that Ecom has said that no one else is talking about. What credit union is it and what major change are they making? All right, guys. So PenFed, all right, it's one of those banks that I put up there with Navy Fed. You yeah. can get in there without being in the military. That's right. In the beginning, when, it's, when it started, it was only military-based and family, just like Navy Fed, but they opened it more nationwide so you don't have to be military. But PenFed is cracking down where if you have a high limit credit card and you're not using it, but you're using other cards and they can see your spending, right? Cause they pull your report. Yeah. You guys notice that like they'll pull mm -hmm. your report and they'll say, Hey, inquiry was assessed or something because someone pulled your report. Yeah. That's the other companies pulling it 
to see if they're going to give you a credit limit increase, mm -hmm. lower your credit. So that's what PenFed is doing. Okay. All right. PenFed is lowering it from like, let's say you have a $15,000 card, they'll lower it down to nine. Mm. Okay. If you're not using that card, right. and they can see that pattern. They can mm. see that pattern, guys. So wow. how you avoid it is use it and then pay yeah. it off. All right. Use it and pay it off. Remember, we're in this credit game not to use it to make us look like we have money. Yeah. We want to use it to make us more money. Okay, guys? So please keep yeah. that in mind. Another thing I wanted to add with PenFed, they do a pre-qualify. So mm. you can go on there and pre-qualify and see what you qualify for if you're approved. Yeah. Okay? That way yeah. there's no hard inquiry. You go in there. You put household income, like I mentioned you guys before, household mm -hmm. income, rent. I like to keep it under 500 because you don't want to show that you make, uh, you pay a lot because it's going to make you more risky, right? Yeah. So less than 500 and then household income, it could be 150, 170, 180, and then you'll see your approval odds go higher. Uh, I did want to add one more gem real quick, yeah. guys. When, mm. when someone has a credit card, okay, let's say you have the cash awards card, right? Back, back to yeah. Navy Fed. All right, let's say you have this card, right? You have yeah. this card and let's say, you have a $5,000 limit, okay? $5,000 limit, but it's always maxed out, okay? But let's say mm. one month you get some money and you're like, hey, I'm going to pay this card off. So then you pay it off, okay? And then that next week you ask for a credit limit increase. They're going to mm. deny you. Why? Mm. Because you didn't keep that low balance for three months. Wow. The bank. Mm. Every three yeah, months, yeah. yeah. Cool. So for, your, for you to get from 5000 to, let's say, because Navy Fed, they'll do increments of eight thousand mm. on on the high end, yeah, and then, you know three or four on the low end. So if you want to go from five thousand to let's say twelve thousand, okay, you have to keep this card mm. low balance for three months before you ask for an increase. Mm. Now we say okay. low balance, we're talking like what percent is like ten percent or less? Oh yeah, less than ten percent. So I, okay. I did my research and FICO. The sweet spot, because I know everyone talks about sweet spot. Yeah, it's actually right. one, one to six percent. Yeah, mm. one to six percent. Do not keep it at zero. Your score is not going to get the full potential at zero. Yeah. There's this method. I'm sure you heard it already, Calvin. Yeah, it's called the uh, AE one, right? Yeah. All all yeah. credit cards except one. That's right. So yeah. All credit cards zero except one. Keep a balance. That way you have that one to six percent. And then you'll see your score getting maximized. Yep. And what I always tell people too is like, if they don't want to, if you guys don't want to do the math on a percentage, just find a bill that you guys have at home, put it on, put it on that credit card, put it on auto pay, something that's obviously less than 50 bucks, 100 bucks, something like that. You know, instead of, because we're not telling you all to find things to buy, find things you're already spending money on on a monthly basis. Okay. You know, so especially you get those points as well too. You're going to buy groceries, you no. Know, at least three, four times a month anyway, you know, so stuff like that that you guys are already kind of doing that, you know, you have the money for. So, yeah, perfect, absolutely. Perfect, yeah. OK, I just got back from uh, just got back from Vegas. We went to Hell's Kitchen and oh, uh, nice. Bill, Bill was a little hefty, but, uh, my, you know, I tell people I did a video on it. My meal was yeah. free because oh, I use my yeah. war points. Nice, nice. nice. What ha what else have you used points on recently, man? Not I don't want to say like in the last like six months to a year. What have you used points on recently? Okay, uh, I'll share this. Um, I reached a million points on Amex. Wow. Okay, and I, and, nice. I, and I'll, I'll I'll share with you guys how yeah. I did it. But um, I gave my mom as authorized user on one of the cards, and she's a travel agent. Oh, nice. So every time someone bought a ticket, I told her use my use a credit card. <laughs> we racked it up to a million, and then when I had a buddy, he wanted to buy seven hundred thousand points for me, mm. and he paid me I paid like uh, nine thousand dollars, and he zelled me yeah. nine thousand. So yeah. how I gave him the points was I liquidated for uh, Nemus yeah. Market gift cards. Mm, that's right. I gave him all those all those Nemus Market gift cards. He was happy. He was able to get his wife a twelve thousand dollar purse. He saved like about three or four thousand. He already had like four hundred thousand points. And yeah. he was like, hey, man, I'll buy those points from you. And, uh, wow. you know, ha had I known about the travel hacks, yeah, I feel that's where I'm going to now, Yeah, I would have not sold the points because 500,000 right. points, guys, is two Dubai tickets first class. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. That's like 20 yeah. grand. 
Yeah, that's right. You know, Them I'm travel hacks, man, those, those are huge, man. Because you know what? It's but you know what? What I like about you, ecom, is that you always think about different ways to do certain things. And because you know, a lot of times we're like, oh, I have a bill, let me swipe this, or I'm gonna buy these concert tickets, let me go and swipe this. But it's like, you know, look, guys, there's a lot of ways you can use these points. And tr listen, the travel hacking is huge because you know, I mean, who don't want to go certain places and do certain things and fly a certain way? Because these tickets are ex I won't well, I won't say expensive. But these ticket prices are crazy for sure. So I'll, I'll, sh I'll share one travel hack because, like I said, Calvin, yeah. you definitely, uh, you know, gave me an opportunity on my first real interview on YouTube. So that's right. Definitely man. kudos to you, man, and help my yeah. channel grow. We're at 90K, right, almost trying to be where Calvin's at with the plaque <laughs> coming soon. Congrats. Congrats on that. Thanks, man. But, I appreciate uh, it. I do want to share something that I learned at a mastermind. And uh, <clears throat> if you guys fly Southwest a lot, because Southwest got the deals. If they do. you get yeah. the personal card and you get the business credit card, okay, right? They'll give you a way so you can uh, spend, let's say, 5000 on one and then the other one, let's say, 4000 because you have to accumulate 140,000 points yeah. for you to get mm. the Southwest and Companion Pass free. Mm. That means is every time you buy a Southwest ticket, you'll have a Companion Pass for free. Now, you guys are like, well, you have to spend... 5,000 on one card and, and 4,000 on the other. Well, that's where you do MS proper right. way. That's right. You know what I mean? That's yeah. how you may hey, Calvin. Can you send me a receipt for five? I need to swipe to get these points. Yeah. Right. They, they, they just, that's, that's, that's how you do it. And then now you travel for free for someone. You know what I mean? Either. Yeah. Hey, go half on this ticket or I could bring my daughter with me. I could bring my son with me and they never have to pay. And that's, uh, for one year. So look into that, guys. It's called the yeah. Southwest Companion Pass, and you have to accumulate 140,000 points. Wow. Southwest Companion Pass. Make sure you guys look into that. Listen, he gave some extra gems today, guys. We just got on a on another on another topic. But listen, let me know in the comment section. Did you guys learn something today? And if you guys want me to bring Econ Bulldog back, y'all told me to do it last time. He's back today. But listen, if you want me to bring him back again in the future, because listen, this is just the tip of the iceberg, okay? Uh, so my schedule, the, both of our schedules are a little tight today. But listen, next time we most definitely give you guys. But thanks again, Econ. We greatly appreciate you as well. And also, too, guys, make sure you guys go ahead. Stop what you're doing now. Check out his YouTube channel. Subscribe today. This is just the beginning. He has a lot of gems. And he's always, make sure you check out his shorts as well, too. A lot of information over there as well. So anything else you want to leave with the audience, Econ, before we get out of here? No, Calvin, thank you always for uh, supporting me. Like I said, support you, brother. Appreciate it. And That's like right. I said, guys, we share these gems to you guys and uh, for you guys to execute. That's right? right. If you guys watch Calvin stuff, execute on the information. Yeah. Absolutely. All about you guys. Take action. Right. right, guys? Have That's a good right. one, guys.